everybody, my name is Coach Shadonks, the Bobo Built for Theme Park News, and it's the video you have been waiting for. This is the 1,500 subscriber question and answer session. Uh, this is where we're going to be answering all your questions uh, that you've asked in. Uh, so they're all on here, they're on two pages, so you know, <laughs> you've answered a lot of questions and Again, keep the questions coming in for the next Q&A when we reach 2,000 subscribers. But here we go. Da, da, da. <laughs> the phone of death. Um, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Get your questions in for the next Q&A when we reach 2K. Uh, make sure you share the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you get your comments down below as well. If you like the video, comment down below. If you've got any opinions, comment down below. <laughs> so, without further ado, this is going to be a long video. So let's kickstart with the questions. So some of these are from Discord when I... Um, Discord isn't really, you know, part of the channel anymore, but I still have some questions coming in on Discord. Um, but most of them are YouTube and Instagram, so big thank you to everyone. Let's have a look at your questions then. So, first question from X-United on Discord. What is your name? Uh, my name is Aaron Chaloner. This is, it's, a, it's a different name. Some people pronounce it Aaron, but... Um, it's it's Aaron. It's it's the pronunciation on it. So, um, but many people have got it wrong on the first attempt. So you know it won't be a crime. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, what's the feeling like to hit one thousand five hundred? And are there any tips you could give? That's from Luke Neighbor underscore thirteen on Instagram. Thank you very much. Um, it's an amazing feeling, personally, uh, to hit one thousand five hundred subs subscribers. Um, it shows that the channel cares. I actually did research online saying what does it mean to hit at least 1,000 subs it's, and I think the answer on Google was like YouTube verifies it and YouTube basically thinks you've got thinks you can show something and that you're an actual channel so it does feel nice it really does feel nice and obviously 1,500 you need some kind of starting point anyway so uh, <laughs> I not made bloody thing over um, but yeah it, you need a starting point um, and you know you got to build from there really uh, and in terms of any tips I could give I did write it down here uh, my advice would be stick with it because I stuck with it even through the low subscribers and the hundred and the two hundred and the three hundred I stuck with it I, I thought I wasn't gonna get any higher than that but I stuck with it I kept uploading videos daily more than one video a day sometimes as well or most of the time um, and just stick with it. Just stick with it because you'll get there eventually. People will recognise your content. And the more people subscribe, the more it gets noticed. So, thank you very much for your question. Next question from DombethLE1. Uh, one I think that's how it's pronounced. On YouTube. Uh, does Iron Gwazi look better than Steel Vengeance? One word. Yes. I think it does personally. Um... And it takes, it's very hard to beat Steel Vengeance because it's a good looking coaster. But Iron Gwazi looks, oh, it looks like an absolute dream. Big bucket list coaster along with Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. So I would like to get out there and try that coaster out in the future. Obviously when this virus calms down, I'd love to do an American trip. Hashtag coast shall cross the pond. <laughs> that's been the main hashtag that's been, you know, shared around over this channel. Um... Cray Cray for Coasters on YouTube says, Did you know that Boris Johnson wants RMC to be banned in the UK? And what are your opinions? Very disappointed. <laughs> uh, no, it's obviously a sarcastic question. Uh, but, I mean, RMC will not be banned. I'm sure of that. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we're 99.99999 million nines later percent clear that RMC is not banned. Uh, obviously, there's still 1%, but <laughs> no, RMC's not banned. We'll see an RMC in the UK soon. I'm pretty sure we will, either this decade or the next one. Either a Raptor or a Hybrid or something like that, or a Top of Track. I don't mind. We'll see an RMC at some point. Uh, Jake Parker on YouTube. What is your thoughts on Flamingo Land, and what is your favourite ride there? Uh, my favourite ride is Hero. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's Kamali, the Vekomo SLC. As if you thought Hero would be my favourite ride. And Flamingoland as a whole is a great park. It's very... It's the UK's answer to Busch Gardens, um, Tampa. Uh, or something like Six Flags Great Adventure with the, the Safari Park and the Theme Park and things like that. So, 
you know. I feel like Flamingo Land's got that real uh, wildlife touch to it, and I like that. And I can't wait for this new town Lupin Ghost to open. So thank you very much for your question. Stubwood on YouTube, what's your favourite memory on a coaster? 2006, first ever ride on Nemesis at Alton Towers, Stubwood. Uh, Nemesis, being an inverted coaster, opened at the Alton Towers Resort in 1994. Um, discovered after the prototype over in America with Six Flags uh, a couple of years earlier. And of course they built this in the old pit, in the old Thunder Valley, which became Forbidden Valley. And riding that for the first time in 2006, just amazing. Absolutely incredible feeling. It was such a great coaster. And... It, it just the sensations. I was tall for my age, so I could go on it. Uh, but it was a very good experience. It was a very good ride. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. Um, do you think that when the Walking Dead contract runs out, X will make a return? Says Josh Perry on YouTube. Thank you very much for your question. That is a possibility. Uh, I think the Walking Dead licensing will go in the future, in the near future, in the next few years, in my opinion. Uh, but X could be a possibility of a retheme. I think they could bring back X, or they could basically tear the whole ride down and use that and the Storm Surge plot of land for a new coaster. I mean, po personally, I wouldn't want that to happen because X is such a classic looking ride. But I think that is one possibility. But the other one is bringing back X, the nightclub themed coaster experience. So thank you very much, Josh Perry. Theme Park underscore reviews underscore UK on Insta. Uh, would you ever want to make YouTube your full-time career? I think you know the answer to this, guys. Absolutely. I've done so much fantastic stuff on YouTube. Um, I've been, I've met some incredible people. I've interviewed so many great people. Um, I've done some great experiences, and I do not want that to end. So this is, this is my life. This is pretty much part of my life. Uh, so I would like to make this a full-time career, absolutely. But... To help me make it a full-time career, it's down to you guys that watch and don't subscribe. Please subscribe down below. Because uh, the more subscribers, the more I can make this a full-time career. <laughs> and I really want to. I'm, I'm one of those YouTubers that really wants to do this. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for your question. And yeah, I'd love to. Uh, British Big M on YouTube. If you could rename slash retheme any Alton Towers coaster, what would it be? It would be Rita. And I think I'd retheme it into the Abyss, or just Abyss, the name. It's like more of a dark forest theme. Instead of an abandoned raceway taken over by the forest, it's very temporary in my opinion. Uh, I'd like to see an actual submerged force, something different to the Wraiths at 13, something beneath the surface imploding to battle with 13 in the dark forest, have like a dark forest battle kind of thing. Kind of like Leesburg, what they did with Loki. Uh, the gyro swing and the wooden coaster boulder. They brought in Loki to actually swing right next to boulder to make it look like they were battling against each other in this new Myths and Legends area. And of course, Valkyria came in the year after the BNF dive coast to replace Kanona. Uh, so I'd like to see some kind of Dark Forest battle going on with Abyss and 13. So thank you very much for your question. George Koshti underscore Richmond says on YouTube Do you think Logger's Leap will ever return? Um, I don't think it will. Um, I think that is one of the future sites of redevelopment. I think that Logger's Leap doesn't have a future at the park, in my opinion, which is unfortunate because I, I really enjoyed that ride. I, I went on it the year before it closed and I had a really good time on it. Um, it was a good fun log flume, especially with the flume closing and that as well. So, you know, I needed some kind of, you know, flume thrill. Uh, and that was it. So, yeah, it's a shame. I don't think it's going to come back. But hopefully, future development. But thank you very much for your question. X-United X on Discord again. How much do you think Epic Universe at Universal Orlando will cost? I think it'll be around about $3 billion. I, I've got a feeling between 3 to $6 billion, just as an estimate. But thank you very much. Jake Parker underscore 04 on Instagram. What is your favourite thing to do with roller coasters? riding them that's the main thing but also i like feeling the atmosphere around them i like listening to the the soundtrack uh i like to feel the theming the rock work the fences as long as you're not too close to the ride <laughs> um but yeah i like to feel the atmosphere around them as well so thank you very much for your question 
uh, Julian Hudson on YouTube, aside from the gondola at Alton Towers, which is the Sky Ride, have you ridden any other cableways? Uh, the two cable cars attractions, uh, the one that used to be at Drayton Manor, and the one at Flamingo Land. They were two brilliant cable cars. Got some great views uh, of the bo of both parks. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, X Dash United on Discord again. Uh, what do you think is the best ride at, or roller coaster at Universal Orlando and Disney World? Obviously, I haven't done both parks, so I can only do it as a guess uh, from um, from the looks of it. So with Universal, I would say it's Escape from Gringotts. It looks like a brilliant coaster. And from Walt Disney World, I like the look of the Tron coaster that's coming to Magic Kingdom next year. I like the look of it. I like the shape it's going to take. But in terms of existing attractions, I would go with uh, Animal Kingdom's Pandora World of Avatar. Oh, it looks fantastic. Thank you very much for your question. George Costi underscore Richmond on YouTube, but also Jack Whitlock on YouTube who answered the same question. What was the first theme park ride you ever went on? Slash, what was your first roller coaster? Um, my first ride and roller coaster, so I'm answering both questions here. So thank you very much to George Costi underscore Richmond and Jack Whitlock for answering those questions. Switchback. Switchback at Gulliver's Matlock Bath. That is a great coaster. Um, it was such a nice, fun family coaster attraction. It was a great ride to do. So thank you very much for your questions. Uh, Jack Whitlock again, what is your coaster count? At the minute it's something like in the 30s. I can't remember exactly, but it's like it's something in the late 30s. So um, not too bad, but needs improving, obviously. But I haven't been abroad in like years, so obviously that when I get abroad and stuff like that, the coaster count will improve. Um, coaster stuff on YouTube, any new international trips being planned for the future? Not yet, but there are loads I want to do, and there have been a lot of questions about Australia mega trips, Japan mega trips, crossing the pond over to the States. Um, obviously, there's a lot of brand new rides coming to Europe next year with Plopslander Pan adding the extreme spinning coaster, Grand Lund with the inverts. So, a trip to Belgium and Sweden would be great next year, uh, but we'll have to see with those. So, thank you very much for your question. Digital Dan HD on Instagram. What is your least favourite attraction? It's, of course, Hero at Flamingo Land. It was the roughest coaster I've done ever. The roughest ride I've done ever. And I've done things like Casey Jr. and uh, Rocking Tugs and things like that. Just small family rides. And even I thought they were better than Hero. So, uh, yeah, it's just absolutely terrible. But thank you very much for your question. Uh, Xander C on YouTube. When do you go to your first theme park and which theme park was it? It was actually two trips in the same year. It was Alton Towers and Gulliver's Matlock Bath in 2005. Uh, I was a five-year-old kid. I was quite tall for my age. I was experiencing the rise for the first time. Obviously, Nemesis was 2006. Uh, it was the year after. My Alton Towers visit in 2005 was very much family ride based. So I did Toyland Tours. Um, I did the driving, no the driving school wasn't there, it was the vintage cars I think at the time, so um, I did that, there was obviously the theatre, the Cred Street Playground, um, there was some other stuff in, in the old Merry England, I remember Merry England all too well, um, I, rem I remember, I see it comes flooding back when you think about it, the Merry England times in that themed area before Mutiny Bay came along in 2008 was just, whew, bringing back in memories and emotions for goodness sake what are you doing to me guys um <laughs> uh, but no merry england was a great themed area it was getting on a bit i could kind of look back on it and see okay it was kind of getting on a bit but it was still a fun it was still a fun area old mcdonald's farmyard old mcdonald's farmyard was my childhood going on doodle do derby the track to ride the singing animals and all those kids rides and experiences and walk through experiences that was my childhood at Alton Towers. That was my childhood. Um, so yeah, just bring back those memories now. Just, just thinking about it is brilliant. Um, obviously, things like the 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 Ugg Swinger uh, in Ugland before Rita came along, and things like that. It was it, in the Bouncing Bugs. You know, it used to be known as the Ugg Bugs. Uh, there was the Climbing Wall near Corkscrew as well. So it was just it just flood of memories. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. You've really took me trying to trip down memory lane with that one. Uh, Georgie, George Koshti underscore Richmond again on YouTube. Do you think that England will ever receive a Disneyland park? I think it's possible. I think that UK Disneyland would be great, but I think we've got our answer to UK Disneyland in the London Resort opening in 2024. So really excited to do that part when it opens. 2024, that's my 
aim for the channel 2024 get down there to do some media work for the opening day of the London Resort Parks if it opens in 2024 or it gets pushed to 2025 I don't know uh, but when that opens the plan is to do some media work there fingers crossed um, but the good thing is it's like right next to like the Ebbsfleet railway station I think as well so uh, or it's, it's, it's near an airport and I think it's near a railway station as well so or in Kent in Ebbsfleet Kent so uh, it would be very easy to travel to uh, it'd be great to do some media work for so big thank you to that question uh, x dashy nice on discord again what do you think disney world's new part will be called and when do you think it'll be built uh i think i think disney world could do a new park going into next decade i'm thinking the 2030s kind of marks so big thank you for your question uh ride expedition on youtube if you could create a new model of coaster what would its new feature be I would like a special effects coaster. Obviously, Dynamic Attractions have got their SFX coaster, but this is the special effects coaster. So, I'd like to see something like Helix, but add leg ticklers, sprays at the back of your neck. Something that a 4D cinema would do, but on a coaster. I think that's what I'd like. That's what I'd like. Uh, so, thank you very much for your question. Uh, Jake Parker underscore 04 on Instagram again. What is your favourite element on a roller coaster? Inversions. I love inversions. It turns your stomach inside out and it defies gravity. It absolutely defies gravity and it defies what a human man can construct. That's my theoretical reason why. So thank you very much. Um, George Costi underscore Richburn. Do you know why Merlin used so many sponsorships, which is IPs, intellectual properties, on their rides and attractions? I think that's the new norm. I think that's the more recent norm. I think IPs getting into the attractions industry has been a big trend in recent years, in the last few years, in fact. Uh, things, you know, we're going back to the days of uh, Nickelodeon, Thomas and Thomas Land, CBBS, um, you know, Peppa Pig, you know, all these different family brands. But of course. You're gonna, we're starting to get more of the adult IPs like the Black Mirror uh, with the new Black Mirror Labyrinth that Thought Park and things like that So I th and Walking Dead obviously as well so I think that we're sort of approaching an age where we're getting into the adult IPs as well as the family IPs uh, obviously Gangster Granny so we're still investing in the family IPs but I think more adult IPs are coming in so I think it's the new norm really so thank you very much for your question I, I might do a debating video in a few weeks actually on that so uh, yeah comment down below if you want that video uh, Sam Barwell on YouTube best coaster at Thought Park easy answer The Swarm being a win coaster 2012 opening brilliant absolutely fantastic it was a great win coaster one, it was my best coaster at, it, of all time. It was one of my best coasters of all time before Nemesis came along and topped it again and then Wicker Man topped both of them. So Swarm is like number three right now. Tied, tied joint second into number three spot with Nemesis. So, um, you know, it's still a fantastic coaster and I can't wait to get back to Thor Park in the near future to go on it again. Um, so thank you very much for your question. Uh, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? That comes from theme underscore park underscore Tom on Insta. See, there's two main reasons why I wanted to start this channel. First of all, report the latest theme park news. That's always been a good, good dream of mine. I see loads of theme park news. We see news being reported, but many people don't cover it. They just vlog from the theme parks. Some people do cover it. You know, Theme Park Worldwide have their news show and other small YouTubers have their news programs as well. And I've seen other past news programs. I've seen... Do, do any of you guys remember the old Alton Towers news videos on ATJ Key? I remember watching them as, as a younger kid and it was brilliant. Um, but the second reason why I wanted to do this channel is because I... I really felt like I wanted to give the theme park industry more coverage. Um, look at YouTube nowadays. You've got gamers. You've got uh, challenge makers. You've got big YouTubers like the Sidemen, Jacksepticeye, people like that. They're great at what they do. And I've loved every single minute of their content. Morgs. Some people don't like him, but I love his content. And I love him as a person because he's a, he's a really nice guy on, on and off screen. Um, and he's over-enthusiastic content really you know it it, it it makes me laugh i'm not gonna lie it makes me laugh um people like that are great at what they do but i wanted to bring more coverage of the youtube theme parks so 
I wanted to get the theme park industry some more YouTube content and uh, really make a name for us because it's not just about the gaming, the challenges that are the main draws on YouTube. I wanted to give theme parks more coverage and more mainstay coverage on YouTube. So uh, I've always wanted to make the world a better place for the theme park industry as well as entertaining people, making people smile, things like that. Um, and that's been the main reasons why I want to do this. So, thank you very much for your question, Theme Park Tom. Uh, if Nemesis or the Smiler at Alton Towers had to permanently close, which of the two would you rather it be? From George Costi underscore Richmond on YouTube. It's the Smiler. <laughs> it's the Smiler. It's a great coaster, I'm sure. Nemesis, but, but Nemesis is just, it's up there. So I would rather close Smiler, in my opinion. Um, theme Park... Kieran or theme underscore park underscore Kieran on Instagram. What is your next theme park trip? Well, the plan was in May to do the York Dungeon because they've got a new show and they invited me back to do that, but obviously temporarily closed until further notice, so that's not happening. When the parks do reopen, gotta be Alton Towers. Gotta be Alton Towers. I do a visit every year, at least one visit every year. If it's not gonna open before September, I may wait until Scarefest. I may wait till Scarefest so I can do the Halloween event as well. Um, Halloween's going to be a big year on the channel in my opinion. I think with your Maze Hallow Scream as well. Uh, other Halloween events I've always wanted to try. Scaregrounds, Scarefest, Alton Towers. Uh, other events further away like Thought Park Fright Nights and Chessington Halloween. That's, those are events I've always wanted to do. So I might look into the process of them maybe in the future. Or this year maybe. Who knows. Uh, but it's just a case of what fits where really. So um, thank you very much for your question. Uh, but yeah, I think the next trip will probably be Alton Towers. Um, Falco Flair on YouTube. How long have you done YouTube videos? So this channel started in November 2018, but for those of you who remember the previous channels, I've done YouTube for a couple of years now, since 2016. Halloween 2016. Um, so, you know, that's how long I've done YouTube overall, but this channel started in November 2018. So, uh, there you go. Thank you very much for your question. George Costi underscore Richmond um, on YouTube. Do you prefer sweet or savoury food? Finally, a non-theme park question. Um, any. Just any. <laughs> uh, Ryan Gibson on YouTube. Do you like the York Dungeon or the Alton Towers Dungeon? I like both. Uh, York Dungeon is fantastic in its own way. Alton Towers Dungeon is brilliant. So, uh, um, and to be fair, both attractions are brilliant as well. So, uh, I really can't choose between the two of them. So, thank you very much, Ryan Gibson. Uh, theme underscore park underscore Kieran on Instagram. What is your number one bucket list park in Europe and the world? In Europe, it's Angelandia, and in the rest of the world, it's Six Flags Magic Mountain. Uh, so, thank you very much for your question. Okay, George Costi underscore Richmond on YouTube. Would you ever collaborate with Theme Park Worldwide, Powers Towers Productions, and UK Theme Parks in order to share your knowledge and create a documentary on the Merlin's theme parks? You know what? I would love to do that. So if Theme Park Worldwide, UK Theme Parks, and Powers Towers Production are watching this, get in touch. Let's create a documentary on the Merlin theme parks. Um, I'd love to get involved. Love to. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. And if you're watching, guys, let's get involved. Uh, British Big M on YouTube. When do you think SW9 Alton Towers will be built? I'm thinking 2022 to 2023. Possibly push back to at, least, at maximum 2025. I think that's what we're looking at here. Uh, especially with the coronavirus pandemic going on as well. So I think we might push it back another year. Uh, I can't really say where it's going to go, to be honest. I'm probably going to get that question later on. But I really I really don't know. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. Uh, George Costi underscore Richmond on YouTube. Were you ever naughty at school? And if so, what did you do? I was good as gold. I was good as gold, mate. Good as gold. So thank you very much for your question. X-United -United on Discord. What is your favourite thing about YouTube and what is your least favourite thing about YouTube? My favourite thing is inspiring people to create their own content. Use my content to inspire other people. Theme Park Reviews UK, you know, he said in the past that his channel is because of me. My channel is because of Theme Park Worldwide, his channel is because of me. Uh, so it's a real domino effect. So I want to inspire people to create their own content. And I want people to in I want to inspire people to do their own thing in their way. Because their own way makes them unique and it makes them stand out. Like me, for example, I do things in a very naturalistic way. The arms and the breaths, things like that. Obviously, the new mic setup makes it a lot easier. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's very naturalistic and it's very myself, be myself kind of content. Uh, which makes it watchable for you guys, I guess. Um, 
but other people create the content in their own different way and that's fine as long as I inspire people to create their own content and as long as I inspire people to be uh, themselves on the platform and be nice and be kind and be a community then that's all good my least favorite thing originally I put nothing but I really hate it when people it, it's, it's not happened to me personally but I know I've seen other people's like streams and other comments and things like that on other people's content bigger youtubers as well um, where it's just mean hurtful comments and they're not being removed so I don't know it's just it, it, it really boils my bars because we should be a nicer community but thank you very much for your question it was a good it, I had to think about that one um, George Costi underscore Richmond. How many years do you think Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride and Rocky Express have left as being operational rides at Thorpe? Give it, a, give it the whole of this decade. Give it the whole of this decade. And I think they'll remove them in due course. But I think they may replace them with newer models and maybe sell the older models onto other parks. You never know. Uh, so thank you very much. Troy Wisdom on YouTube. If a theme park opened a new area, what would you like it to be? Steampunk. I think the theming potential and the creative potential is astonishing with that. Uh, compared to other themes so steampunk it is thank you very much troy um george costi underscore richmond on youtube will you ever be a ride operator mate i don't even know how to change a plug <laughs> no i'm joking of course uh but it would be nice to be a ride operator obviously it'd be nice to work in the parks but as a ride operator maybe not as much as other jobs but it would be nice to operate a ride for a day it'd be a nice experience uh, Alunday 1991 on YouTube. The three things you'd like to see changed or improved after the Valhalla refurb. Less soaky, projection mapping, and maybe even a jump scare after one of the drops. Uh, so there we go. So I'd like to see some good changes happen to Valhalla. And those are three things I'd like to see. The jump scare maybe won't happen. Projection mapping I think will happen. Less soaky I think is definitely a major in this because the, the component does get too wet and the boat fills up with water and things like that. So I think they are going to try and improve that. So big thank you for your question. Uh, George Costi underscore Rich on YouTube and Troy Wisdom on YouTube. Pretty much that's the same question. Out of all the English theme parks, what is, which one is your favourite? And of course Troy asks, what is your favourite theme park in the UK? Uh, straight answer, Alton Towers Resort. But... I think Paltons Park could be a close second if I go there uh, when Tornado Springs opens. So, thank you very much for your questions, Troy and George. Uh, Don Beth Iloni, um, when do you think we'll see the removal of Colossus? That's the qu uh, quote on YouTube. Uh, between 2027 and 2037, I think the next 10 years between those two. Uh, so, of course, Colossus, Tandem Coaster, opened in 2002 on the old site of the Trappers Trail Playground. Um, in the old family theme Fort Park days, they were moving into the Thrill Market, and Colossus was one of the main first additions in the Thrill Market. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. George Custy underscore Richmond, how old are you and what age did you become interested in theme parks? I am 19 years old, I'm 20 on the 20th of June, uh, and I was interested when I was five. I, I was first interested when I was five, I became a fully fledged enthusiast at the age of eight, uh, and I went full theme park geeky mode at 10 years old, and I've never stopped since. So, uh, there's my whole cycle of being an enthusiast. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, what is your least favourite proper coaster? Uh, basically, the 1.4 metre tall coaster says uh, Xander C on YouTube. Hero. I, I, uh, I'm not too sure if it's 1.4, 1.3, or 1.2, but I think Hero, in terms of the thrilling coasters and extreme coasters, again, it's the worst. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, the next one in line would, pr in terms of the actual extreme coasters as well, I think the next in line after that would probably be Rita, in my opinion. And I, and I don't say that lightly. So thank you very much. Um, True Wisdom on YouTube, what is your favourite UK area in a theme park? CBB's Land, I think it looks fantastic for a family atmosphere, I think it's great the theming wise and they've used the IP to its advantage, so in terms of creative potential, so thank you very much for your question. Sam underscore underscore Barwell on Instagram, what is your favourite ride at Thorpe Park and Alton Towers respectively? It's Wickham at Alton Towers and Swarm at Thorpe Park, so thank you very much for your question. Uh, which one do you prefer? Oh, again, same person. Um, you see, for the thrill factor, I'll go with Swarm, but for the overall experience, it's going to be Wickerman for me. So, thank you very much. Um, George Costi underscore Richmond from YouTube. Out of all the secret weapons at Alton Towers, which one would you think would close first? <sighs> Oblivion. If Rita, if Rita was a secret weapon, it'd be Rita. But I think Oblivion. I think it might go. 
Uh, so thank you very much. Troy Wisdom on YouTube, what is your favourite secret weapon? Um, I'm struggling between Nemesis and Wickerman, but I think for the legacy factor and the history behind it, it's got to be Nemesis in my opinion, so thank you very much. Craig Craig for Coasters on YouTube, what is your most anticipated coaster in Europe, Africa, Asia, North America and South America? There's nothing for um, Africa, I don't think there's anything for Africa, uh, when I looked on Roller Coaster Database. For Europe, it's got to be Abyss Set Energylandia. Uh, for Asia, GP Racers looks a very exciting addition. Uh, for North America, it's between Jersey Devil, Iron Guazi, and Pantheon. It's between those three. And for South America, it's the 8 Inversion Coaster at Mirabalandia, Brazil. So thank you very much for your question. I want to page two now, by the way. <laughs> I've got a few more to answer. Uh, D4 on YouTube. If you could see an RMC T-Rex go anywhere in the world, where would you have it? I would see one replacing Viper at Magic Mountain. Um... For 2026 or 2031. If not, because of course the rumours of this extended Jersey Devil clone going in uh, for 2021, I think we'll see it at Cedar Point to potentially replace Magnum XL200. Again, same timeline, 2026 or 2031. So thank you very much for your question. Alan Kamold on Instagram. Do you like making your own jewellery? I haven't actually made jewellery, but I love the style of it. So who knows? If you want to see a jewellery tutorial, let me know. <laughs> um, Roly Mo on YouTube. What is the scariest maze you've been to or been on? 2073 at York Maze Hallow Scream. It's a post-Trump zombie apocalypse. It's brilliant. Uh, the fact it's set in the cornfield as well. You don't know where you're going. There's dead ends and oh, everything like that. And the theming's incredible. So thank you very much for your question. Uh, tips for becoming a coaster enthusiast, says Annabelle17. Be yourself and love the coasters you love to do. But please know if there's any rides that you don't like, my advice would be do it once and either never ride it again or ride it endlessly, limitlessly. Or you can also wait until you're ready to try the ride out. That's the thing with me. That's always been the thing when it comes to the big rides. I was like... Try it once. If you don't like it, you never have to go on it again unless you, you know, you have to for the for the credits. Uh, but you can, if you like it, then you can keep doing it and things like that. But my tip for being a coach enthusiast is be yourself because when you're yourself, you really do love the whole um, like aspect of being a coaster enthusiast. When you're yourself, you're being yourself. You're being uh, a great person on camera and off camera and in public as well. So. Um, that's my tip, so thank you very much for your question. Uh, what is the worst thing theme parks do that annoy you when you visit? Joey Mars Bar on YouTube. I hate that sound! I hate that sound if you can hear it. Um, hardly any single rider queues, especially at Alton Towers, and staggered ride openings and park openings. That's what I don't like, as well as that flaming sound. Turn it off! <laughs> if you can hear it, you know how annoying it is. Uh, but I would say single rider queues, especially Alton Towers and the staggered openings. I really hate it. I think it should open on time or just open at a specific time. But staggered openings, just try and get rid of them as much as possible. Single rider queues, the smaller one came back. Spinball Wizards one's still there. But I'd like to see more single rider queues. Uh, Connor Hollins 21 on Instagram. What is the aim for your channel in the future? Uh, I want it to be a full time part of my life. Uh, and I'd like to get it to at least, at least one or two million subscribers. That is my least goal in the in like the next 10 years, 10, 15 years or something. I'd like to do that. But obviously, if you didn't know already, I have a second channel where I'll be doing lots of different stuff on there. Football, uh, reaction videos, uh, anything like that will go on the Chal channel. It's called Chal. Uh, I am the C-H-A-L-L. -L channel <laughs> uh, and that will all be on that channel but in terms of this channel for the next 10-15 years the goal is to make it a full-time part of my life and at least one two million subscribers so please help me get on the road to one million please please uh, so thank you very much the quacken on youtube brilliant name uh, what is your number one coaster wicker man and alton towers great gci great themed experience and it's a brilliant enjoyable attraction so thank you very much Eric Thomason on YouTube, what's one coaster model you're yet to experience? RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction. Uh, and that is because I haven't travelled anywhere where there is an RMC and uh, there's no RMCs in the UK yet. So obviously that's one coaster model I would love to try out. Love to. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. Uh, 
Robin's Nest on YouTube. Do you think we'll ever see new fights at Alton? The ride lineup is general, it's bare compared to Thorpe. I'd like to see Flat Rise, I think it should happen, but I think Dark Rise and themed walkthrough experiences and coasters seem to be more of the trend in the theme park industry. There's, there's still Flat Rides being added, but there's less and less in the UK especially. So, obviously Chessington's got their new drop tower next year, uh, things like that. But I think we'd like I'd like to see a new flat ride or two at Alton Towers, but it's just a case of which ones. Uh, so thank you very much for your question. Kieran underscore Dixon15 on YouTube. What will, will you, would you replace Rita for Alton Towers next coaster? Absolutely. I think it's past its time. Uh, theme park tomorrow on YouTube. What's the craziest rumour slash piece of news that you made a video on in your opinion? Um my craziest to be fair, I'm going to actually shock you guys and say when we first reported a 10 looping coaster coming to Flamingoland, I really didn't expect it. I thought it was fake. I thought it was not true. Uh, I was quite baffled and I, I really didn't expect it. So I like how things have developed from there. So thank you very much. Final question. Oh, I'm getting out of breath. Uh, final question from Tom White on YouTube. What type of roller coaster would you most like to see at Thorpe? It's between an RMC, a Hyper from B&M or Intamin, or a multi-launch from Intamin, like a Taron, uh, which is like a Blitz coaster. Uh, so there we go. Oh, that's a lot of questions. And I've rev and to be fair, I like doing these Q&A sessions with you guys when we hit a milestone because it, it allows me to express a part of myself with you guys. And it allows me to be myself with you guys. Uh, so, like I, like I am on the channel all the time, but it allows me to open up a part of my life, I guess. So, I really hope you guys really love that uh, Q&A session. If your channel, if, you, if you've got a question that you want to ask for the next one, then please get it down below. I really recommend it uh, for the 2,000 subscriber Q&A. Like I said, every 500 subs, we will give you a Q&A session uh, a couple of weeks after we've hit that master. Uh, or a week or so after we've hit that master. Um... So yeah, it's it's been a great session today. I've really enjoyed answering your questions. I've really enjoyed, you know, letting you in on my life and, you know, what I like and what kind of things I love doing and sort of all about me as an enthusiast and things like that. So it's been really nice to uh, be honest, be open uh, and express with you guys. Um, so thank you very much for watching this Q&A session. There'll be more videos coming on this channel. I'll put a link in the description down below to the other channel, the channel. Uh, where you can see all the football videos, the other videos that we're set to do over the lockdown period as well. So there's some great content coming on there, guys, football and non-football related. So make sure you go check out that channel and let's get the subscriber list going up there as well. For now, guys, though, thank you very, very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell next YouTube video. And for now, guys, I'm Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.